Hello everyone, my name is Christian Eschbach, and welcome to another one of my album reviews. Woo! Pantera, official, 100% proof. Sorry, 101 proof, my apologies. Um... I got this definitely as part of a uh, CD collection. Um, Columbia House or BMG, I don't remember which. I'm going to probably say Columbia House. I, um, when I picked up this album, I had already owned um, Cowboys from Hell, Great Southern Trend Kill. And that was it. Uh, I had heard Far Beyond Driven from beginning to end countless amount of times due to all my friends overplaying the hell out of it. Vulgar, I knew kind of a little bit. Now, does that affect my views on this album? Because those would be the albums that were represented on here, I believe. And it did to a degree. But on the other hand... Not as much as you would think. Now, this album is enough to get me excited. And the, part of the reason I'm covering this is because Pantera with... It's not the real Pantera. I know. Okay, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Pantera with uh, Phil Ensemble and Rex back. And then Zach Wilde, and I don't remember who's playing drums. Um, I am excited to see them live. Uh, I, I, I have mentioned this before. I was fortunate enough. I did get to meet Dimebag Daryl before, long before he passed away. Greatest dude ever, man. That was a sad, sad tragedy, man. Sad tragedy. And one thing that most people don't realize, Dimebag Daryl and John Lennon were both shot and killed on the same date. Not the same day, definitely decades apart, but the exact same date. <sighs> day I hate America for more and more every day all right so here we go let's get into this uh new level one of those songs I enjoy kind of sort of I should mention with Pantera I'm hit and miss with them okay I, I just I'm not that fucking angry anymore and I never was that angry but they were a band you had to appreciate. Uh, so, New Level gets the album going well, does the thing, cool, whatever. Then you're into Walk. Now, Walk, man, that's some badass riffery there, man. That big, thick, heavy. Man, you don't even have to bang your head hard. You just, yeah. <laughs> Go walking down the street, have that sucker blare, man. People just move out of your way. They know where you're going to walk. <laughs> um, and live adds to it. You just get that much more energy to it and whatnot. Um, I believe that this was not recorded at one particular venue. I believe this was recorded at a bunch of venues over the years. And I'm not going to say that that's a bad thing, but it definitely didn't hurt this or help this album. Pantera's sound is one of those, the sound that Pantera has, they don't have a lot of low end. So it's a lot more on the crunchy, fuzzy side. And because of that, sometimes like in this particular case of this live album, the way they separate Phil's vocals from the rest of the band and the mix and whatnot, <sighs> Overdubs. I hate to say it, but it sounds like there's a lot of overdubs. And not to say that Phil overdubbed his vocals. It's just because of the way it was mixed, it kind of feels that way. Kiss Alive. Kiss Alive. Those who know, know. Those who don't need to go find out. I should get around to covering that album. If I haven't, I don't think so. Anyways, uh, then we're on to Becoming. Not a bad tune. Don't mind it. Five Minutes Alone. I enjoy five minutes alone. I really do. Um, I don't know if it's a song I want to see them do live. 
Only because I'm too old to enjoy that one live. Uh, Sandblasted Skin. I'm... It's not a bad tune. I'm just not into it. Pantera fans definitely love this one. I'm just not into it. Suicide Note Part 2. Now, I was impressed to hear it on this album. Because, uh... Oh, no, my apologies. No, I wasn't impressed to hear Suicide Note Part 2 on this album. Suicide Note Part 1, that's the, uh... The chilly one. Okay, never mind. So, uh, yeah. It's a shame that Suicide Note Part 2 is on here and not Part 1. Uh, War Nerve. Not a bad song, I guess. Strength Beyond Strength. If you're into it. Uh, Dom Hollow. Not bad. This Love. That's a good fucking live song, man. Get the crowd pumping on that one. Really, really takes it up a notch or two. It's fantastic. I'm Broken. Oh, of course, this one's got to rip it out live, man. If this one didn't rip it out live, that would be sad, right? Uh, Cowboys from Hell. My favorite Pantera song. I don't like the live rendition. I don't, I don't think it cap captures it properly. Just not into it. Uh, Cemetery Gates. This one's good live. Um, this is another one where there's that real issue where the mix with the separation with Phil's vocals from the rest of the band kind of is like... It does not sound like he's, you know, overdubbed or anything necessarily, but it just doesn't sound... It sounds too separate. Excuse me. Um, yeah, that, that's the problem. It, it kind of neuters it a little bit, makes you a little tired. Uh, then, and if you didn't yawn at that, you're a psychopath. Okay. Sorry, I have, I, I joke on that. Uh, then you got Hostile. Hostile is one of those songs that, man, when you're a Pantera fan, you love this song. Where you come from? Eh. And then I Can't Hide, which was a studio recording from May 97. Meh. Um, if you're a Pantera fan and you do not have this album yet, like if you're if you really love Pantera, you're just getting into Pantera, you really love Pantera. You don't have this album yet, it's it's worth picking up. It's pretty cool. I really don't listen to it anymore. I haven't listened to it really in a long time. Um, and the main reason I haven't listened to it in so long is I really, this is one of those times where the live production does nothing for the band, really doesn't help the band out, really doesn't do anything for them. It really doesn't translate an energy that was missing off the album. Like, you know, previously mentioned Kiss Alive. That one of the things that really made that album blow up and explode was the energy on that album, you know? It just really, woo. <sighs> Excuse me, well, this one, man, I'm just, I'm tired talking about it. No energy, it's zapping the energy right out of me. <laughs> and I mean, like I said, I love, Cowboys from Hell is one of my favorite Pantera songs, if not my favorite Pantera song. And I just, I don't like it on here. I think it sounds kind of neutered and yeah. Anyways. Those are my thoughts, my views, my opinions. You can go ahead and blast away if you want. I don't mind. Um, that's what happens. On your way down, though, if you want to hit the uh, link for Patreon, you can throw me some money and hate money. Throw hate money at me. You you hate this review. You hate every horrible thing I said about Pantera. So now you're going to throw hate money at me. Okay. Um, and after you're done throwing hate money at me, there's a like button, a subscribe button, a little bell for notifications. If you're watching this on Rumble, um, there's buttons there too for that. And yeah, we're going to go with that for now. Okay, everybody. Peace, love, take care.